And we have audio. And we are almost ready to begin. No, I think we are ready to begin. So we're not, um, yeah, we are. Woo! That was exciting. Okay, hello and welcome to the stream, if anyone is here, which I don't think anyone is. But that's okay, because I'm going to put this on YouTube where, uh, yeah, Windsock, which I'm guessing is a bot account. Um, okay, there's a couple of things we're going to do today, or one th which has nothing to do with what we did yesterday, because I got bored of it. Um, there's actually quite a few HTML5 clones of Minecraft. Uh, and I saw one yesterday that looks sort of interesting because it doesn't use 3.js. And the author there says that it's, Hello, T-Torp! <laughs> hey, my parents were married. Well, no, they weren't. Um, I, I'm good. How are you doing, T-Torp? What's going on with uh, you and uh, your good friend, uh, Natalie, who is... I don't know if she's awake or asleep or dead or alive or eating bugs or... Oh, I guess she wouldn't eat bugs because she's a vegetarian. Um, or just doing whatever she does with bugs, which perhaps we don't necessarily want to know. Okay, I will continue, but obviously uh, my stream policy is I hate everybody, but I hate the people in chat slightly less. So if you're in chat... You, you're, you're still pretty scummy to me, but you're, you're at one level higher of scum. I think if uh, Natalie were here, she could actually explain. There's like a layer of scum or sediment at the bottom of the ocean, uh, but then there's a layer just above it, uh, I think. I don't really know. But, but that's, that's the layer you, as the viewer viewing audience, is at. It is Pomodoro time, but it is the first one, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Um, okay. All right, if you have any questions or if you... Oh, okay, yep, it is Pomodoro time, but I'm not doing it. Um, why do I even have that warning? Because I get it from my other machine anyway. I guess it's partly... Um, I guess it's partly due to... Um, the, yes, you can ask me anything. Um... Okay, you realize that I'm 65 years old, right? You realize I've reti been retired for 10 years, right? No, no I, that's fine. I didn't say I never in my life. I used to go outdoors all the time, you know, when I was younger. And believe, back when I was a kid, um, we didn't have, we didn't really have computers. I mean, we had the mainframes. Um, we had the Atari 2600 at some point. Uh, we only had three TV channels. I mean, it sucked. We, we had to go out. I don't know if you've ever watched that 70s show, but it's like that, only more primitive. Um, yeah, there's, there was really nothing. Th this inside stuff, I did work at the university before retiring for quite some time. I also worked as a computer programmer for a while, um, and then I retired. So, yeah, this whole not going out thing... Um, the idea came to me in the early 90s when that was like the first time I saw things being sold on the internet. Um, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you know, there were no websites that did e-commerce, but you could at least email people and say, hey, I want to buy this product from you. No eBay, just email them. And they say, okay, send, you know, this is what we want. Give us your credit card number, which is insecure, but who cares? Um, and then they would send it to you. So it was, and it, you know, it was all mail order and stuff, no, no virtual purchases. So, so I remember all of that and thinking, if this internet thing grows enough, we're going to get to the point where we're going to be doing everything online. I mean, I don't know if I was a visionary or one of a billion people who just was very socially awkward and thought, hey, this internet thing looks like it's, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good idea for me. Um, so yeah, now I don't go out at all. Keep in mind also that I... Um, I have edema, um, I have uh, bursitis, I have, uh, well, I probably have a lot of other things I don't know about because I avoid seeing my doctor, but uh, basically it's not easy for me to go out anymore. I, I can do it, it's not impossible, but it's, hello, Natalie, how are you doing? You are from, are you sure you're from, I thought you were from Poland. No. Crap. Okay, if you say you're from Denmark, I'll believe you. Yeah, I mean, it, it is bad, but I mean, honestly, if the internet didn't exist, people like me would be really screwed. I mean, we would have to basically have, you know, people come by and feel sorry for us and all that. With the internet, 
you don't even need to go out. And now with the virus, you don't want to go out. Wait a minute, you're not from Denmark. You're from Sweden, Natalie. I'm sorry. If you did, they're very similar to each other in the sense that they're both Scandinavia. Cool. Actually, I'm going to check to see if it is milk is true. Hang on. You little cheat you. No, it's you. Because I know you can, I didn't, I figured out you can change your name actually on these things. Um, but then when the, um, oh, you think you're joking about that. Um, I was actually going to try to get a, a drone that would fly around my house so I could find something. Because right now, if I, if I want to find something and I don't know where it is, I have to look in a lot of places in my house. Um, wow. That is the freaking coolest thing in the world. Yes, I was going to get a drone, but a droid would work too. And basically, I would view it, you know, view through the droid's eyes. And when I found what I wanted, I, you know, it could lift it up and bring it to me. And, and I would never have to move. I think I, I told uh, Professor Chibs yesterday the... Um, my ultimate goal is to see if I can pretty much live in the chair that I'm sitting in right now. Um, and, and we're getting close. We're getting pretty close. Uh, the other problem, of course, is, um, uh, you know, I have to get up and walk around, partly because it helps clear my mind and partly because of my medical conditions. It, it doesn't help a lot, but it, it sort of prevents me from... Yeah, I know, it doesn't yet, but that's why I'm working on it. The healthy, hygienic chair to live in. Yeah, a normal drone would work at, for that, and I've been trying to find one, but, I mean, there's so many different models and stuff. Plus, um, it's, it's, I don't know what, um, I mean, I've got bad coverage. Diabetes, high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol level, edema, bursitis, um, and lately I've got this really dry cough and fatigue. I don't understand what's going on there. <laughs> no, I'm just wacky joking about the COVID. Um, but, you know, I'm old. I, I'm actually very, I, th I find myself very fortunate. I mean, yes, the coronavirus, very, it is sad. It is kind of sad. Um, so, so, um, I totally also was going to say, yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, I can have food delivered. I can have groceries delivered. I can have prostitutes delivered. I can have drugs delivered. I can have dead people delivered if I, you know, if I need cadavers for my gruesome experiments. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice living in this environment uh, where someone like me, you know, because I because I remember my dad when that you know he didn't he was in much better shape than I was, um, but I remember when he got old. You know, it it really was very debilitating back in the olden days to be old because you lose a lot of your own self. Um, not self-worth, it's self-initiative. Uh, you know, you, ha you have to um, have people drive you around. And you, I, I mean, obviously I still do, but there's so much I can do just sitting here in this chair. Um, I think it's, 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 it's amazing. It's so much better than it used to be. Uh, I mean, one day, of course, we will have all live in the matrix, which I'm, I'm hello, ox, ox is full. Let's see if you're using a fake name, you are not. Um, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to the three wonderful people in my chat, um, which is, I think, a new record for me. Um, what I was thinking about doing was a couple of things. Um, did I have a thought that I was working on earlier? Something, something, it sucks to be old, but it sucks less now. Oh yeah, one day we'll all live in the Matrix and we can all be, uh, I, I want to be like a, uh, a Polish girl of age 23 with brunette hair. So, um, there's that. Um, l instead of saying what my favorite movie is, um, Matrix is not my favorite movie, oddly enough. And in fact, I've never seen Matrix. I just, um, I know you're not 23 and you're not Polish. You're from Sweden, aren't you? Cause you, no, shit, hang on. Someone from Sweden keeps complaining that they don't have enough restrictions there for COVID. Um, I thought it was you, but I might, I might be... I, all these beautiful women are jumbled together in my mind, and not in a good way. Lithuania, yes! And I think Miglobite, who is not here, is also from... You are not from Lithuania, Natalie. You are from... I'm sure you're from Sweden. I'm sure you've told me that. Um, T-Torp, you are also from Sweden, if I remember correctly. 
Um, I am from Troll. No, I am from Troll. Did I meet you in Troll Land then? Uh, I, you could be from Troll Land. Um, I'll briefly mention what I, what I was going to do, but probably won't end up doing because it's way more interesting talking to you people. Um, there are several mind test Minecraft clones that are written in JavaScript. Sweden! Wait, Natalie! Yeah, that's right. Where did I say you were from? Sweden, right? Yeah. Because that's where they don't have the restrictions. And no, Miglobite? Well, okay. She lives in America, but she's originally from Lithuania. She has a Lithuanian flag on her backdrop. Um, so you're right, you're right. She is in America, but she, she, she has a heritage in Lithuania. Every so often she speaks Lithuanian to her parents or grandparents or whoever the hell lives with her. Lithu Lithuanian people. Um, okay, so I'll briefly discuss what I was going to do. So we're going to look into some of those and see if we could create um, my dream of creating the real world uh, analog of Minecraft. Um, oh yeah, T-Torp, you actually know everything about base pairs and biology. I should really be bugging you about that stuff. Because uh, when I'm in Natalie's stream, I bug you all the time about uh, class, genus, family, order, uh, species, all that stuff, and, and base pairs and, um, and, and stuff like that. Because one of my mini projects, uh, I've always been a game dev. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm not a successful game dev. I'm a wannabe game dev. Remember, I've always wanted to create the game that's played on a real world map. In other words, you know, we use actual information about the world and create like a Minecraft-like game, or even a, even a text game, maybe. Um, yes, and a mini project I have that I'm not doing is to look at the uh, COVID uh, RNA sequences and see if I can come up with a better virus. Because, you know, if the, if the Chinese can create a virus in a lab, um, cool. That is awesome. Are they written in uh, Oxful? Are they written in HTML5 and you just people just visit them, or are they actually written in in Java for Android directly? And if, if they are written in Java for Android directly, um, when can you pair code with me because I want to learn that? Um, so yeah, so my, my, my goal is to create maybe a, a better coronavirus because I get the feeling we're going to get over this one pretty soon. It's not nearly as deadly as we thought it was going to be. Uh, it's pretty pathetic. It's pretty pathetic. Um, I love Unity. I do not love C Sharp. Um, but if you want to teach me Unity, that would be fantastic. If anyone wants to, I mean, I know, I know, I realize, I'm, and I'm asking you to do that for free. I realize that uh, having people teach me, what would you like to do? Oh, that is not a good question to ask me. Um... I mean, I'm a guy, you have to remember that, and um, I'm not dead yet. Well, it could be, though. Um, you know what? I think this doesn't really answer your question. It's sort of the opposite. I would love to live in a perfect holodeck, but that doesn't really answer your question, because the question is, what would I do? Oh, if you know any Unity, you know Unity better than I do. Um, you know, one day, it's theoretically possible that I could die on stream, and then there would be a dead person streaming. It, I could be the first. I, I, I'm sure someone's done it before, right? Um, didn't some guy like kill himself on stream by mistake? Maybe not. Um, but you know that's that's a goal. But it's not one of those goals you can really like brag about after you've done it. I mean, unless there's an afterlife. I know, but I'm pretty old. Um, I am uh, what they call uh, more. Um, I'm not, I'm, I am immunocompromised, but I'm also one of the people who's older, and if I do get the coronavirus, I am more likely to have complications. Uh, I don't know how many of them I can have on stream for you. I am the baby boomer. I'm the very tail end of the baby boomers. Um, oh, um, I, 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 they're boring. They're very boring. There's, um, there's a lot of, I, obviously I can't go into too much detail, but, um, and the company I worked for decided that they were going to create their own sort of employee portal slash accounting system, uh, which actually at the time, I was never at NASA. No, I was never at NASA. Um, 
which at the time was actually sort of reasonable because um, there weren't a lot of people, there weren't a lot of good sort of employee management programs out there, uh, you know, accounting, payroll, all that stuff. Um, so the, the really sad thing is I didn't work on creating it, uh, but I did, I tweaked it endlessly, and I think, um, I think, I think someone worked this out that um, we spent like way more time tweaking it than the original guy did writing it. In fact, I'm almost sure that's true. I mean, that's usually true of most software, but it was like, yeah, this guy wrote this in a couple of months and we spent years, um, you know, on and off, multiple people um, tweaking it. So, fun stuff. I'm 65 years old. 65. Love me. Love me. Um, it is not my dream to work with... Na I don't want to work at all. I think working for a living is bad. NASA... There's, there's, there's actually like a Sheldon, Amy, Farrah, Fowler debate here. I want to be in the Matrix. I don't need reality. I want to live in a world that I can create on my own. I could fly to planets. I don't need an atmosphere because it's a holodeck. Um, or, you know, like one of those 3D simulators where you can walk around in, which they don't have yet. Um, that would be the dream. To basically create a world... Well, good. Good for your dad. I mean, fine. Feel free. It's not, it's not, I'm not, I'm not proud of my age. I mean, it's sort of the opposite, right? I mean, I wish I were young and hot and free like, uh, like the rest of you guys. I wish I was living in Sweden and, uh, doing whatever it is Swedish people do. Um, I'm, I'm guessing they yodel a lot, because that's, that's what I've heard. Unless those are Swiss people, because I, I never, I always get Switzerland and Sweden confused. Um, are you, are, are you the people who yodel a lot and communicate by, um, I've heard about this. Everyone has told me this is the movie that represents my lifestyle. I mean, there was um, Sandra Bullock in the net. There was um, there have been several like iterations of this. Um, but yeah, I've heard Ready Player One is pretty much like the the movie that represents my uh, lifestyle. Um, what's a weird flex that you're 21? 21 is a good age. 21 is, in the United States, the youngest age you can drink at in 49 states. Um, and, and yet you're still very young and very powerful, so 21's a good age. I like 21. I would like to be 21 again. Um, so that would be fantastic. Um, or just, it would so be so great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it is fantastic that the internet and all this stuff exists because it really is helping me in my old age but I would have loved to have had this technology available when I was younger. Um, yeah, you, you really, you know, you really, um, if you want to help me, I'm serious. Um, <laughs> is 50 in your top 50 numbers? Well, I am. I am a little bit sad that I'm old. I mean... A lot of the, this technology, 50, so it's in your top 50, but 50 itself is a trash number. I mean, you have to remember a lot of this technology didn't exist when I grew, grew up. Um, and I'll be honest, because I'm a guy, and, and guys are honest unlike women who lie all the time. You know, I didn't have Tinder or OkCupid or POF. That would have really helped me a lot, because I was very shy as a young person. Um, and I very much get into computers, and I would love to be able to have met people online. I mean, I still can. I mean, I still flirt with people online, but it's not the same thing. It's not real. Um, and yes, I realize there's sites like this for older people, but a lot of people my age aren't very tech savvy. And let's face it, a lot of people my age are really ugly. I mean, that's why I don't stream my face. I'm really ugly. Because, uh, you know, when you get old, you get ugly. You know, that's just, that's just, unless you're Asian. If you're Asian, you like stay really beautiful looking, and then one day you bam, you go ugly. Um, so probably, oh, uh, is it me? Is it me? Does she has she fallen in love with me because of my comments on your stream? Because remember, she came into your stream once. Because um, I would that would be oh well. See now you've disappointed me. Because I thought maybe you could be my. Because that would make you my stepdaughter, and that, 
that could go so, so, so ugly. Um, so much good porno involving stepdaughters. Okay, well, that's too bad. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, you know, I'm happy, but it could have been better. It could have been growing up in a time where nerds were appreciated. We were not appreciated. Um, um, well, okay, that's a good point, but there's a couple of things I got to say about that. I know that that stupid vampire series, people have decided that being a virgin is cool. Um, but also, excuse me while I puke my guts out, um, but also, um, you know, you can remain technically a virgin and, and do other stuff. Um... So, you know, you don't, you don't have to go for the direct, uh, the direct, uh, the sort of the, uh, the Death Star, you know, hole that has a minimal opening that only Luke Skywalker can get into. There's plenty of other ports in the Death Star, if you know what I mean. And there's plenty of other things you can do where you don't even need a Death Star. I've been watching, by the way, uh, Deep Space 69, um, which is just absolutely hilarious. Everyone should watch it. Unfortunately, it's they're all the each of the um, individual segments are like ten, five, ten minutes long, so I've almost watched the whole thing. Okay, I'm still catching up here. Yeah, it must that must be, um, especially if she's still married. I mean, you know, your dad's like, I mean, you have to tell your dad, hey, you know, mom's on a on a dating site. You know, maybe you want to kind of look into that. Um, I'm gonna skip Pomodoro when it comes up, but yes, exactly. Um, yes. Uh, okay, well, okay, let's go into the first part here, but, but this is exactly the point. Um, you could, you know, some women will answer no, but even if they don't answer, they answer no. It's not a big deal because it is not a, we've gone out, we've had the dinner, we're now at the door, and she's like, screw you, or very, very more precisely, don't screw you. Um... But I don't know what you mean by wear and tear. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's correct, actually. I'm sorry, I don't know where you got the idea that's not true. Um, I guess it's not necessarily to have sex with as many people as possible, but to have... It, it is a big goal to have good sex. And, you know, the Coolidge effect, um, having sex with a new person, is exciting. So... One way to make sex exciting is to have it with different people each time. But it is possible to have sex with one person and still make it exciting. Ooh. Wow. You are correct. There's a higher availability now. Uh, it used to be, you know, people really didn't know anyone outside their general area. We didn't even really know people who lived on the other side of town. I mean... You know, we kind of knew about them from newspapers and stuff. But really, outside of my high school and maybe like a, a couple of others nearby, didn't really know anyone. That, there wasn't a lot of this um, sort of lived person across town. Um, what? Um, but I think, I think, Natalie, I know you and I disagree about a lot of stuff. And I think this might be one of the things we disagree on. Um, because I do not believe that monogamy is a natural state for human beings. Um, I think a lot of other species are polygamous. I think we could be polygamous. Uh, free love. Um, I can't remember the word I'm looking for. That means uh, it's above and beyond bigamy. It's polygamy. I think it is polygamy. No, polyamory. Polyamory. Let me write that word down. Um, no, I won't. Polyamory. So I, I, I think that is, I don't have a problem with that. And I don't think it's a problem. Recursive sex. I don't know. Is that a joke? Uh, yeah, recursive is a function that calls itself, but not like this. It calls itself in a way um, that presumably the, the stack of calls eventually ends. Because um, if you, if a function just calls itself, it'll never, with no changes... But like, for example, if funk of x, funk? If f of x calls f of x minus 1, 
and then there's a base case for f of zero, uh, that would be a recursive function. Um, you can, in fact, write the Fibonacci sequence, the program to compute the Fibonacci sequence, recursively, but it's insanely slow. Um, yeah, see, this is an interesting question. I mean, jealousy is... Um, whether or not we get jealous depends on how we're raised. If you're raised in a polyamorous household, I don't think you're going to get jealous. Um, but, but, you know, the way... It, the jealousy is, I think, a product of how you're raised. So if you see that people belong to each other, uh, you could see getting, you know, I could see getting jealous. But if you, if you sort of have that just from day one, the belief that uh, everyone belongs with everyone, I could see where that would, you might not be jealous. We did? did we, oh, yeah, we did. Wow. That's actually what the topic of this stream is supposed to be. It's science and technology, not recursive sex and me being old. But we, we really kind of go all over the place here. Um, well, that's the correct way to do it. Polygamy, not um, polyandry, is the other way. Um, well, okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, in fact, I think there is a, uh, there's a proof that any code that's written recursively can be written non-recursively. Uh, non-recursion is strong enough to do anything recursion can do. Um, I, I sort of see what you're saying here, but I get the feeling if I had like, and I'm, I'm not, I'm using myself as an example because I really want that. If I had like seven girls or whatever, and some of them like, you know, on, you know, every so often they went out with some other guy, or went out, had sex with some other guy somewhere else. That's cool. I mean, I want to just be surrounded by enough hot girls uh, that I could have sex with any two or three of them at any given time. Or maybe even one of them if I'm feeling that way about it. And then if they want to spend their time with other guys the rest of the time, that doesn't really bother me. I don't feel that jealousy. Um, and let me be more uh, specific about this because it's going to really piss you off. It's kind of like when I'm watching you stream and I'm madly in love with you. Um, once you're gone, I watch other streamers and I kind of forget about you. So watching Twitch streams is very much like polyamorous sexual intercourse. Um, because, you know, you, you, it, it, it's a poly relationship. I watch you. You have other people watch you. That's fine. When you're gone, I watch someone else. And I'm sure you watch other people. You don't watch just me. So it's, it's, this is, I think, Twitch might be the sort of the model for, for polyamorous relationships in the future. Um, so I think I answered this one. Uh, I mean, anytime you have, like, anytime you have people who are deviating from what society accepts, they're going to seem weird, even in ways that has nothing to do with what they're doing. Like, gay people probably seemed a bit weird back in the day, you know, when, when homosexuality wasn't accepted. Um, probably the first people who thought of the idea of marriage looked a bit weird. People are like, why are you going through this bizarre process that no one does? Um, more functions. Okay. I don't know if that's like a call... Are you asking me to write more functions? Or are you just cheering the fact that there are an infinite number of functions? Uh, tell you what, Ttorp, I'll give you a little problem here. How many functions are there that uh, whose domain and range is both the real numbers? I'll let you do that. Um, no, no, no. Okay, I see what you're saying. No, no. I would be. I would want to be. No, no one is too young. That's an eight. That's ageism. You're not too young for me, Natalie. You are not too young. Um, hello, Benny, the <laughs> Benny, I remember you. <laughs> hello. Um, no, no. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. Uh, I would have poly relations with women, but I don't, wouldn't care if those women were having poly relations with other guys. Uh, I don't think I myself would have poly relationship with guys because I just don't get excited by, you know, you never know. I might find the right guy, but you're really not doing anything for me yet. And you are not too young for me. Too young for me in my imaginary fantasy world is maybe f 13. 13 might be too young. Okay. Is the curve going down? We were actually at one point looking at, uh, at plotting the coronavirus. Um, the number of deaths in the United States is now actually fairly stable the last time I checked. OK. 
Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Benny, I don't know if you're joking there, but T-Torp is a valued non-moderator on this channel. Uh, very soon affiliate. Um, yeah, I think I need 50 followers for affiliate, but I don't, I don't know if... Can you get meet the requirements for affiliate and choose not to be an affiliate? Well, yes, there's definitely an infinite number of functions from the reels to the reels, but how big of an infinity is it? Is it as big as the natural numbers? Is it as big as the real numbers? Is it bigger than the real numbers? Uh, the economy has already collapsed. Um, all the poor, stupid people will die, and then us smarties will rise up again. I love graph theory. You know, I would love to... There's a, um, there's a Python um, library. I hate the fact that it's Python, but I think people have ported it that can deal with really, really large, um, that can deal with really, really large graphs. And, and graph theory comes up all over the place. In fact, oh good, now I get to do something that's actually relevant. Hang on. Um, I'm so happy. Um, uh, okay, I think this is correct. Yeah. Um, if you're familiar with the problem of getting a chicken, uh, chicken, okay, um, let me see, okay, I'm gonna see, I'm right here in the chat, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pause for a second to do this. Uh, there is a problem that says, can you get a chicken, a farmer, um, what the hell is an M? Something that eats chickens. Um, Hang on, let me let me see what this is. I I have actually forgotten. Oh, fox, 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 fox. Okay, um, a chicken, a fox, a man, and not a woman, but a, a bag of wheat, from one side of the river to the other. Given that you can only um, the the farmer has to go on every trip and can only carry one item at a time. Um, and and the if he leaves the uh, fox and the chicken alone, the fox eats the chicken. If he leaves the chicken and the wheat alone, the chicken eats the wheat. But leaving the fox and the wheat alone is fine. This is a graph that shows you all the possible steps you can make and how to eventually reach uh, the conclusion of where you get everyone safely across. Um, and I think... Oh, right, and right... Um, this is like, things like this are an end condition. If you end up with the man and the wheat on one side, chicken and the fox on the other side, chicken eats the fox, sorry, fox eats the chicken, we're done. Here we have um, chicken eats the wheat and you're done. Um, so this shows all, I think it shows all the possibilities here of uh, what states you can be in and, um, wait. Oh, right, and by the way, the one thing you have to know to solve this problem correctly is it's theoretically possible for the man to just go on the boat himself without bringing anything with him. So obviously if he did this at the very first point, that would be useless because the chicken would, the fox would eat the chicken while the chicken's eating the wheat. Uh, but it, there are times when it is useful to get to this proper solution that he does need to cross alone. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get back to where the hell I was in chat. Ah, okay, t -Torp, send me a picture, man. Send me a nudie. Let's take a look at you. Um, Okay, Spock Nation was somebody asked me if I wanted to join their little Twitch group, and Spock sounds a little bit like Spock the guy in Star Trek, so I said yes. Uh, I don't know if it's any good. I think it means that... Um, I don't actually know what it means, because when I'm not broadcasting, I know I, I host other people, uh, but I think if you go to the Spock Nation channel, it shows everybody in Spock Nation who's broadcasting, and if I'm the only one broadcasting, I get shown at the top or whatever. Chicken, Fox, Man, and Wheat, thank you. Okay, I don't know if I want to click. That's that's good stuff. Non-oriented, yeah. And by the way, if you ever search for the word graph on the internet, you'll get totally screwed over because graph has so many meanings. Instead, search for the word digraph, meaning directed graph, because digraph has a much more specific meaning. Um, it's not perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, this graph theory can be really hard. Um... In fact, I think, I mean, I've done this stuff here. Um, 
Let's see. I, unfortunately, I've forgotten how I've done it. Uh, but let me let me find this other example that I, shit. Um, well, that wasn't helpful. And that wasn't helpful either. I love the fact that I'm actually behind on um, chat because it means I'm actually doing something. Okay. I have a lot of crap. Geolocate GSN, peanuts, metal wiki. God, where the hell would this be? Oh, hang on. Sorry, I can do better than that. It, the word Australia is in it. What the hell? Why is Australia in so many different places? Ah, uh, here it is. Um, stand by, stand by. We're still... Is it image 5? Nope. Nope, that's an interesting image, though. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Sorry, I'm thinking Fox still. Okay. Um... Please feel free, feel free to continue scrolling my chat. I'm going to go ahead and order this one. Here are my lovely images. I'm just trying to find one of them, though. But if anyone gets fascinated by this shit... Yeah, this is another diagram I drew. Someone, someone asked me, um, uh, how can I move my wife to Australia? And I decided to consider all the possibilities with this lovely flowchart that I created using uh, GraphWiz is the software I use, but I had to write a Perl script uh, to um, to generate this uh, this uh, um, this graph here. Okay. Oh well, okay. There was a path there. If you really want, I can show the path uh, on how to do it. It's a well-known problem. Let's see if I. I don't think I have it up anymore though. Uh, this is CentOS 7.2 running in a virtual machine. Um, oh, TTORP, please. Everything is command line. Um, okay, apparently Natalie has caught on fire, uh, which is not good because I will kind of miss her. But as I pointed out earlier, I am a uh, po polyamorous... Okay. Uh, I am a polyamorous uh, twitcher, so... You know, I'll miss Natalie, but I will be able to be consoled by other people. Um, okay. Um, no, I use I use Unix for. I mean, I'm I'm retired, so I don't. There's nothing I don't do for fun. Oh, okay. I, some for some reason I'm disappointed that you're not. Um, your house isn't on fire. I guess burn popcorn is less interesting. But I'm happy that you're 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 not on fire. I'm happy you're still alive, Natalie. I'm not that happy, but I'm somewhat happy. Um, now, I, I, I use Unix in production, too. This is a virtual machine I created uh, because there's a lot of stuff on my main machine that I don't necessarily want to expose to everybody. Uh, but no, I'm a command line guy. This is how I do most of my stuff. The only thing that's a little bit different is this machine is a little bit slower because it is a virtual machine. Uh, but pretty much, and, and because I'm using a mount, my files are actually on a different machine. So that, that's why it's a little bit slower. Um, oh my god. Well, you know, if you want TTORP, I can help you learn, um, learn Emacs. Oh, I thought for a second you said Unix, but no, I can help you learn Emacs. I love Emacs. I mean, it's not that hard to get the basics in Emacs. Now, to completely learn Emacs will take more than a lifetime. But if you just need to do basic stuff in Emacs, it's pretty cool. So I can help you with that. Oxusful. I need to figure out how to pronounce that. Um, 
if you want, you can help me with Unity. I would love to do any sort of co-streaming with anyone where we can work on something that's useful to us and maybe not to anyone else. Um, I hate Python, so I probably couldn't help you with that. But Emacs, yeah, no problem. Um, ugh. MSYS2, is that, is that another uh, command line for Win... Well, just, I mean, the problem is don't use Windows. Use Linux. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's SIGWIN is also another possibility uh, that's a, a command line that installs on, on Windows. But ultimately, and I think Microsoft has created a Unix subsystem for Windows, but ultimately those are all kind of like, you know, um, they're all kind of like getting a blow-up girlfriend uh, while you already have an existing girlfriend, instead of going the other way and get... Oh, no, hang on. Sorry, that's not correct. It's like getting a blow-up girlfriend while you have no girlfriend, instead of getting an actual girlfriend, and then... No. Sorry, I don't have an analogy for this that involves girlfriends. But Linux is good, even though it's not as good as a girlfriend. Um, okay, we have... A, oh, horse's ass here. Oh. That is a horse's ass, right? Even though it says Honest 29 Pig. Um, okay, why in July? It's, um, I mean, maybe maybe because you work, but um, for a lot of people, now is a really good time to get projects done. For me, it's always a good time, because I am, uh, it, it's a pig horse butt. What's a pig horse? Okay, I, I don't know what, what you've been breeding together. Um... But I mean, I, I mean, of course, I have a lot of time always, but I've noticed other people are doing more projects now that they're, you know, this COVID thing is helping us out. Um, so that's where I'm hoping to maybe get, capture someone's ear, or more importantly, their skills and programming skills and their time to get stuff done. Linux is represented by a penguin. Um, this just sounds like a really bad idea of breeding. I'm not gonna do Pomodoro. Uh, breeding two things um, that probably shouldn't be bred together because horses don't taste very good. Um, uh, it's a native OneDrive app. Um, I mean, there is LibreOffice uh, for Linux. Um, I don't know, is OneDrive like a, a backup system or a files in the cloud? Um, no, I, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people who pretends that Linux will instantly make your life better, but it will eventually make your life better. It's kind of like marrying Natalie. If you married Natalie, your life would suck for a while because she's a really weird person. But then you would realize long term you'd make the right decision by marrying Natalie and your life would get better. Okay, this is the summer. I mean, most people are getting out of school now, right? Um in May, unless that's just in the United States. But anyway, again, I was just sort of joking about that. When you do have time, if you do want to, if you do want to um, co-code, co-code, uh, code with me, stream with me, help me out, be helped by me, anything, because uh, that is really what I want to be doing, is helping people or working with people to do stuff. This, all this crap is basically because no one will work with me. This is my sad, lonely boy writing in his diary because no one loves him. Um... Okay, not bad. I use iDrive and you get five terabytes pretty cheap, but it's backup, it's not, um, it's not a cloud drive, it's only for backup. Uh, oh, where are you? You told me you were in um, Magical Fairyland. Um, you're in Europe somewhere, right? You told me and I don't remember now. Um, okay, but here a lot of, a lot of a lo some universities are ending early uh, because of the whole COVID thing. But, uh, you know, May is sort of the time when we get the final exams and stuff going. Uh, okay. And you can actually buy space on, like, DigitalOcean is where I have my space, and then SSHFS to it, which means you can treat it as being local space. Of course, it's a little bit slower because it's going over a network. Cool. Do you mean an Animal Crossing or in real life you went to a pond... And, and did the frogs follow you and jump into the pond, or were they already there? No, this is... You go ahead, please. Feel free. Lithuania, of course, the wonderful land of Miglobite. That's how I remember it. Um, so in Lithuania, apparently... I mean, all of Europe is kind of weird. 
But I guess in Lithuania they're going for the end of June, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, cool. That's cool. Uh, frogs are cool for like, you know, a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes, they're cool. Um, and some people eat frogs' legs, and you gotta feel sorry for all the lame frogs walking around. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm going to take a breath now because chat has paused. <gasps> ah, dry cough. Okay, please keep going in. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Okay. Oh, wait, wait there's more. And that's a very dangerous medical condition, Natalie. Um, human flesh should not be melting at body temperature. Um... I've never melted human... F well, actually, I have melted human flesh before, but I... Okay, thank you. Um, I will explain that in just a minute. Um, but I have melted human flesh and human organs before, but I haven't kept track of the temperature. But clearly shouldn't be happening inside your body. Okay, did I explain what Orange Kangaroo Denmark means, or did someone else here know what it means? Revolver Ocelot. Not quite. Okay, let me explain what Orange Kangaroo Denmark means, um, even though we're probably not going to get... Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so there's this sort of mind-guessing game where you tell people to take two one-digit numbers, add them, subtract five, and then think of uh, a country that begins with that letter of the alphabet. Now, it turns out, of course, if you pick two numbers... No, hang on. Um, some magic, you get them to where they're picking a country that begins with the letter D. So most people would pick Denmark uh, because there are not a lot of countries that begin with D and Denmark is one of them. There's, there's actually Djibouti, Dominica, the Dominican Republic, and I think one other whose name I don't remember. Oh yeah, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, sorry, the Democratic something of, no. The Democratic something something of the Congo. I don't know if that counts because Democratic is kind of like a ad word. And then they ask you to think of an animal that begins with the last letter of that country. Well, there aren't a lot of animals that begin with K, although I bet Natalie would be able to name a whole bunch. Most people immediately think, of course, of kangaroo, uh, because that is an animal that begins with K that most... Kanga... Kang... I think that's it. Didn't seem long enough. Then you're asked to think of a color that begins with the last letter of the animal. Well... There actually are quite a few colors that begin with O, like okra, O-C-H-R-E, but most people come up with orange. So that problem, then after you do all this, derp, um, then they'll say something like, but there are no orange kangaroos in Denmark, or I bet you're thinking of an orange kangaroo in Denmark. Uh, and it seems like mind reading, but it's basically because the choices are very limited and most people don't get this. So... North Korea? Wait, what? North Korea doesn't begin with the letter D. Oh. Oh, you're trying to give me a country that begins DPRK. Um, oh, the People's Republic of Korea? The Democratic People... Okay, that doesn't count. Um, you know, Natalie, that's very, very sad of you. I, I thought you were a young... Per you know what? I mean, I've seen you, so I know you're not that old. But... Uh, you're spending Saturday evening with me. And I would like to announce to anyone in Europe right now, your life is so pathetic, you are spending your Saturday night with me. If you're in the United States, it's not quite Saturday night yet. You're spending your Saturday afternoon with me, which is bad unless you're just waiting to do something more interesting on Saturday night. And I do realize there's this whole COVID thing going on, but um, even then you could find something more interesting to do than watch my stream. Not that I don't, not that I don't love all you people and want to have group sex with you all. Um, okay. Um, so, so the goal was, yes, I was talking about this on some stream yesterday, and I said, I wonder if it's possible to find a list of all possible answers to this question. I mean, just for fun. Um, and so I was going to try to figure out a way, suggestions on things to do. Okay. Um... Tell me how wonderful I am. I mean, just really go crazy on it. Um, 
you know, pretend that you're going to dump, pretend that you've already dumped your boyfriend. That's not going to happen for a couple of days yet, but pretend it's happened. And then give me all the reasons that you want me to be your new boyfriend. That's something you should do. Meanwhile, and so we would find all the countries that begin with D, all the animals that start with letters that end with those countries, and then all the colors that end with those animals. And I, and there, it's totally pointless. I mean, it has beyond zero, it has negative use. But that's what the stream's all about. And obviously you could do it with other countries and other, you know, animals. You could do it with colors. You could do it with anything. Um, but I'm actually convinced that even with Denmark, there are a lot of animals that begin with the letter K. And the question is, how would you go about finding them? That's sort of the... Um, that's sort of the uh, the interesting part is, you know, where do you get a list of every animal? I mean, you can get... Oh, shit. I just realized something. I was thinking of the normal names. Yes, kangaroo... Ra well, that's the same thing, though, pretty much. That doesn't really count. Um, it just occurred to me you could also use species name. So even if a... But I was thinking of the common name. Um, so where could you get a list of animals and then uh, go to where just the ones begin with K? And then where can you get a list of colors? Because um, there are uh, there are a lot of colors. There are some colors listed in the Unix um, in the Unix world, which I will not be able to find. <coughs> um, please stand by. I'm gonna try to find them on my other machine. Jesus fucking Christ! I think they're an X11. Yeah, user X11 R6. Um, oh, there is no X11 here, is there? Screw you. User share X11. They like moving stuff around. Um, there it is. So this has a list of about 782 colors, but there's no way that these are all the colors in the world. It's not even close. Um, um, at least I, don't, I think it's not close. I mean, it does list a bunch of colors for, for RGB, but uh, there's more than this. Okay. All right, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, is that what... Is that... Oh, yes. I, okay, that's why you know Migla, because you are also Lithuanian-ish, kind of. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will now continue to annoy my other two viewers. Well, other two talkative viewers. Let's just see who else. Let's just... This is not a good thing to do, but let's just see. Anyone can do this. Um, pretty sure this is fake. Pretty sure this is fake. I think this is fake, too. Uh, fake meaning, like, bot users or whatever. Thank you very much again, Alcastful. And now... Um, so the idea here would be, how would you find a list of... Countries that begin with D, that part's probably pretty easy. There aren't that many countries that uh, start with the letter D. But then how do we start with, you know, how do we find animals with that name? There must be millions, right? Thousands. Uh, how do we find colors? And then the final goal would be to either enumerate all of them and post it somewhere, or just to say there are X answers to this question, and, and here they are. You know, here's how you could, if someone gave you the de orange, gen orange kangaroos from Denmark, uh, problem. Here's how. Here's the many different ways you could screw them over. Um, now, yesterday I came up with an apple-colored impala from Djibouti, but that's just one example. So that's one thing we can do is to look into that. The other thing we can do is um, I've been trying to get. Um, I would love to run Minecraft on HTML5 so I could, you know, continue my dream of building this game that looks like the real world. Um, and I have seen some uh, mind test and Minecraft uh, HTML5 libraries, but I haven't experimented with them yet. Um, some of them are... Mister? Wait. Okay. I don't... Mr. I guess is just a term. I was thinking, I, to me, Mr. means Milkis Termu, who occasionally shows up here. Um, but not today. He's mean. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Milkis Termu, that's the man. That's, by the way, the man. 
Oh, 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 I'm sorry. All right, uh, thank you very much for joining my Steam T-Torp. You are a valued uh, member of this community. Uh, and also, I think you're not involved in the love triangle with me and Natalie, unless you are. Uh, me, Natalie, and Milka Stramu uh, have a love triangle going on. Um, so, wait, what the hell? Don't leave. Just you and me, baby. Finally, some alone time with Natalie. We can talk about bugs, baby. Um, so, the, so the two possibilities for the stream, assuming anyone has a preference, is to look at you know all possible solutions to this, the Denmark kangaroo, the orange kangaroos from Denmark problem, or to look at these uh, Minecraft. Um, okay, um, and that's kind of mean of you. Um, all right, bye guys. I will now go back to having a relaxed, empty stream like I always do. Um, and I found one that I sort of liked that does not use 3JS, that does not use hard voxels, because Minecraft uses up a lot of blocks. I mean, um, each, um, I mean, it, it uses up a ton of freaking blocks, uh, even when you're only generating part of the world. In fact, it uses up so many blocks, you can't generate the entire 65,000 by 65,000 by 65,000 world ever. There's just not enough room for that. Uh, but you can generate portions of it, and even those portions have a lot of blocks. So, um, so usually this would be a very uh, CPU memory intensive thing. But some guy, who hopefully we'll find him, is saying that uh, you can do it without having to, uh, without having to use uh, voxel, without having to use 3JS, uh, because there's really no need to render uh, all the um, all the all the cubes in Minecraft, all the voxels, because most of them are hidden. So let's see if we can find this guy, and let's see if we can uh, do anything with this. No, I don't want to watch my own stream. It sucks. Okay. Um, I, this guy just looks weird. Okay. Uh, Minecraft HTML5. That should be a good starting point. Oh. If you can actually play it online, that would be something. Okay. I, actually, I don't think this is free, though. Um... I think I did this once, and now it's going to actually, yep, it's going to take control of my pointer, and, yeah, this is okay. It's a little bit slow here, because this is a, a virtual machine. Um, but yeah, but the problem here is this code you cannot, ooh, I'm flying, oh, I'm actually in water, which is why I can, uh, I can get out of water, but, okay. Um... But unfortunately, these guys do not open their source code. Um, so we will look for another solution. Um, um, and let's see. I probably search for something different. Um, I don't want to say library because that's the wrong word, but I think that might be what I'm looking for. Uh, Minecraft clone. Yeah, this is the guy who was complaining about 3JS. So this is the guy I'm looking for. This is the man I'm trying to find. And I believe he has a very short, um, very short example code that says presumably um, that will presumably give us a minimal functional Minecraft game. So let's go ahead and. Go ahead and clone this sucker. Um, and uh, let's see, git clone. She's a git clone. No, she's not. Okay. Webcraft. Okay. Read me. Um. Da 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 da. So. Okay, let's go ahead and create a. Um, uh, let's go ahead and create an HTML file because we're going to try to do this locally, and we'll go ahead and create it in. Uh, we'll create a directory for this. By the way, uh, if you are in Europe, um, you would say. Actually, no. Sorry, it doesn't apply to this form of the date, so you're fine. Um, but test one. Dot, I like calling it test one because it's kind of weird. There we go. 
Okay, so here we'll just have script, unscript. Obviously, we will need to load the, uh, the, the engine, but again. So let's see what this guy wants to put in. And I guess if I'm being clever... Ugh, okay, I'm not going to put this into GitHub yet, but if it works even minimally, I will move this to GitHub. Because um, I'm expecting it to fail, because I expect everything to fail. My life is a failure, man! Okay. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Obviously, we will need to load the library here in just a sec. Uh, or we will need to... Okay, here we go. Um, this, by the way, looks a lot like code you would write for 3JS. So uh, there's a great similarity here with create a renderer, you create a camera, which I assume he's going to do next. Uh, or maybe he's not. Okay. Dun -dun. I'm 99% expecting this to suck balls. And I don't mean that in the good way of actually sucking my balls. I mean in the bad way of not doing anything because the code is, despite what the guy says, is not complete. Um, and we do want it to render. Oh, he actually has one already. Single player .html. Hang on. Maybe. So that was kind of pointless, but I mean, it's, it's useful. Okay, so let's see what... He already has an HTML example. So that is pretty damn cool. I don't think it's going to work, but... Alrighty. Let's look at it. Interesting. Uh, it is Pomodoro time, and I'm going to take it this time. Back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back, and we are back. So this does not look like it's anything... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is something. Uh, whoa. Okay. It's interesting. Okay. Well, if I can actually drop a brick here, which sounds very dirty, but it isn't. Um, okay, in Minecraft you usually right-click to drop something, but this is... It's a black plane, I, I realize that, but it is actually not that bad. So can I get this? Put it here? Put it here, TNT? No. Um, and this is, uh, of course, a demo. I mean, it's not supposed to be uh, a full Minecraft game yet. Okay, so let's. This is actually not bad. Uh, let's let's read some instructions on this guy. 
uh, on this guy. Okay. Um, nice. Physics is entirely optional. I wish that were true in real life. <laughs> that isn't really even a joke. All right, let's take a look here. We're not going to change this code, obviously. Well, hopefully, we're not going to change this code. Um, so he does load a lot of libraries, um, which is fine. Oh, so this is his code that he uses to create this. Okay, set up a renderer, create new local player, set an interval loop. Wow, it's not bad actually. Um, so the one thing, ooh. Where the hell did I go? I went way far from the universe. Help. I'm not falling. I kind of want to fall to the floor here, but I don't know where the floor is. Okay, so, um... Okay, right-clicking doesn't do anything. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me do Control-Shift-K to bring up the web console. Let me do Control-Shift-K to not bring up the web console. Um... Okay, let's see. Because I'm worried that some of the stuff it's going to do is going to give me um, an error. Uh, yeah. Uh, and because this is all local files, uh, we are not getting... Um, we are not getting cores headers. We're not getting any headers, in fact. My name is Bob. Connecting to server. That's kind of... What the hell am I doing? Am I really connecting to a server? If I am, it's weird. Actually, let's, let's see if it does connect us to a server. Um... Okay, I don't think it actually connects us to a world. This is just an example of how it could, in theory, connect us to a world. Okay. So this might be uh, GitHub-worthy already. Okay, so we, we loaded here. Um, so I'm getting the feeling that if this were on a, a website somewhere, um, it would work a lot better. Uh, because we would have the cores headers. Um, or actually, we would have the, the same origin policy. They'd all be on the same site. So now the question becomes, does he have this set up in GitHub Pages? He does not appear to have this set up in GitHub Pages. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not cool. Your mama. Your mama's not actively maintained. Um, okay, that's kind of bad. Let's see when these last changes were. Oh my god. Okay. Abort, abort the mission. This is actually not bad though. Um, Minecraft clone HTML5. Open source is, I think, the key phrase here. Let's play my... Okay, mine test is indeed an open source clone. Oh, uh, but it's not HTML5. Um, okay, and I think this is probably the version that uses 3JS. Yep. Um... Ooh, this is what I'm looking for. 2013, maybe not what I'm looking for. Um. Oh, okay, click on the screenshots. Run the, okay, let's do that. I'm not getting Mr. Demo. I 
I'm not happy. It's possible that the demos have been disabled for some reason, but uh, still not happy. Let's see what, if we can find the main demo. Um, two non-game developers that want to make... Yeah, they're kind of now making me lose interest. And the fact that I can't run any of their demos... These are... Okay, but that's fine. They're images, but they're also links, right? No, they're not. They're just images. Um... This isn't looking too good. Um... Okay, I'm going to need an example for this. We are at the website. Um, okay, we don't necessarily want to do that yet. Okay, I get the feeling this is not going to work. And I am correct. So, obviously this project is not being maintained. Um, or if it is, they're doing a really bad job of it. Exa yeah, this is, not, this is not cool. Not a bad idea not working. This is uh, what happens a lot, by the way. Um, okay, there does appear to be an open source. This could be the same thing. We never know. Um, oh. Let's play it first and then decide if we want it. That's always good when you when the site's not found. That's Yep, so it doesn't exist, but I mean, you know, other, uh, other than the fact that it doesn't exist, uh, it sounds pretty good. Um, uh, written in C, though. Um, all right, I, I'm getting the feeling this will not be written in HTML5. Um, but let's take a look. And no, 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 Android, Windows. Yep, yep. It is not. It is not. Op it is not web-based. I like. I like the way it's just Minecraft-inspired demo of Minecraft. Uh, Python and Piglet. Nope. Unacceptable. Nope. Now that sounds like something that could be useful. It won't work, obviously, but you know. Let's see what this looks like. Where am I? Here? Okay. Tersology, open source voxel world. Okay, this actually has some things that are uh, updated within the, this year. Uh, was born. Okay, that's fine. Um, shiny. Okay. Do not want to do that. That does look gorgeous, by the way. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, it requires Java 8. Go fuck itself. This can go fuck itself. This can go fuck itself. I get the feeling this is going to go fuck itself in a minute, too. Project, okay, we, we're, we've gotten, we've gotten the, um... Yeah, I think we've gone all the way around. Okay. So that sucked. Um, see, this sounds like it's really interesting. But it won't be, but it sounds like it's interesting. That's the important thing. Uh. Yep, now we're starting to see... Um, written in C, doesn't count. And we already went here and something bad happened. Okay, nope. Okay, this sounds like a kind of thing I'm trying to do here. That looks nice. April 2019, so... Oh! Someone has decided to do improved voxel so it doesn't suck as much. Um, okay, so apparently 2019 is actually pretty old, so it's not, uh, not the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, I can't... Whoa, shiny! These are images, I think. Oh! No, that's just an animated image. It fooled me for a second. 
Um, something about a wonderful girlfriend, and programmers who have girlfriends are usually uh, not smart. But let's. Okay. Uh, five years. Okay. This does not sound like it's going to be very useful. Um, need an example here, cowboy. Uh, nope. You suck. Nice try, though. Um, manic digger. Uh, that probably is not what I'm looking for, but let's just go ahead and... By the way, if you think this is a waste of time, um, absolutely. I think this is the same page we saw earlier, actually. Whoa. Nope. Now, is this the one that we decided didn't exist, but maybe exists now? Or is this the one that just sucked for some other reason? Oh, yeah. Java 8. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Um, alrighty, I think maybe we need to, um, hunker down a little bit. So instead of saying this, let's say, so we want Minecraft in there. I don't know if we necessarily need the word clone in there. We do want JavaScript in there, and we do want open source in there. That maybe should help give us some better... You know, this just sounds like it's one of those things that's not going to work. Um, or maybe this will, because this is like some guy's name followed by some inscrutably weird file name, which is usually where the good stuff is. Um, uh, okay, this is this is a this is a screenshot, which is what they said it was, so I really can't complain. <laughs> Um, um, okay, lots of screenshots here. Can we actually play it, though? Oh, my God. Docker and Node, that's not JavaScript. Idiots. Um, why do I get the feeling that I've seen this one before, even though it's not marked as a viewed link? Um, oh, I have seen this one before, but not here. Okay, 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 we can, we can do this. Uh, we never answer polls. Mind test, good stuff. Tersology, gorgeous, doesn't work. Voxel JS doesn't actually do anything. What happened when we looked at the Voxel JS? I need to like make notes. I think. All right, we couldn't find a way to play it. Um, Truecraft. I think we looked at this too. Um. Well, this looks nice. It's an implementation. Um, oh dear. That's always bad when you see uh, Windows executable. Okay. I might need to limit myself to craft blah blah blah. Uh, oh, under C sharp. Oh uh, god. Okay. Okay, Minecraft server written in JavaScript sounds like it's going to be Node. Let's make sure it's not. Um, okay, the word Node shows up here, but yeah. Client side. I don't know if there's a name for client side uh, JavaScript. Actually, now I know what to look for if this doesn't work. It's going to be um, play Minescript. Minescript. Mine craft in your browser. Well, this is just right up my alley then. Um, okay, now again, I get the feeling... Yeah, I think this is Voxel, actually. February of 2016. Um, yeah, I think this is Voxel. Yeah, not, not been updated for a while. Um, yeah, 
and we do not want one that requires a server. Um, I guess that's okay if we require a server, as long as we do all the rendering on the user side. So it should be usable without a server, but also with. But no, Voxel, I'm pretty sure, is the dead one, I think. So anyway, play Minecraft in your browser open source. Let's see, Google help me out here. Can Ooh, Babylon. Um, celebrating 10 years. Yeah, go fuck yourself, go fuck yourself. Um, hmm. Um, this is actually a medium.com article, um, so it's not really going to be that tech heavy. Um, okay. Does not let you play in a browser, though. Hang on, I'm going to, it, it, as far as I know, you can't play in a browser. Cannot play in a browser. Um, but let's see. Nope, we cannot. Or if we can, it's too hard. Um, I like to say it's 22 day old. Wow, but, you know, it was 22 days old in 2013. Okay. All right, Pomodoro, I'm going to take it back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. So, so really, hmm. I don't know if I want to go, let's go to in your browser as an expression. We're going to not get that many hits. Oh, well, we still are. The funny thing is the one that we looked at first, which is really old, um, is, uh, hang on one sec. Um, I'm in my Discord and I'm letting someone know. actually know what my Twitch channel name is. I do, but it took me a second to remember it. Okay, so we're going to have someone joining us here who wants uh, is going to ask a statistics question. Now, the really cool thing about this is I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so this is going to be really confusing. Uh, I'm going to try to answer a statistics questions without knowing statistics, whatever that word is. Okay, but let's see what we can do. It's always fun to do stuff like this. And this is... What the hell? This is the wrong one, by the way. Um, oh, this is temp read me stream. Hang on. Let me go over to BC git read me stream. The correct one. Which also is wrong, but anyway. 
Okay, so we will be expecting our lovely guest visitor to show up here eventually, maybe. Um, let's find out what's uh, what's going on there. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit by seeing if we can greet him before he greets us. We cannot. Um, so while he's doing that, we can, uh, I guess, kind of wonder if the best one we have is actually the one that uh, is the old one. 3D version... Um, play for free, which is different from being open source, but let's see if this says open source in it. So I do have it, um, I'm pretty sure I had that quoted, didn't I? I did. So you're kind of messing with me here, Google. Oh. Snippets. Let's see what snippets are, but I don't think that's going to be very useful. Um, mm, sounds like they're not going to give away the good stuff. Okay. Now, the other thing we could do is instead of trying to clone Minecraft, um which is one way to do it um because but we don't necessarily want that we maybe say um create voxel games voxel is a three-dimensional pixel let's make a voxel engine let's not should i even try to make a voxel game <laughs> um well, this is interesting now um interesting is there any more to this page? Oh, ooh, hang on. These are things that have been created. Oh. Each block measures... Okay. Block editor. Um, okay, now this does not say open source in it. Uh, open source. So that was my, my bad there. Um, and I should have said JavaScript. Wow, first result, January of 2013. Kind of fucking it up, Google, unless there's very few results. There's 468,000. You could have done better. Um... Now what I could do is I do a minus voxel JS because apparently that's the only fucking thing that's going to come up. Now maybe I'll get no results. There's more results now. Somehow. This at least is more updated. Uh, we are still waiting on our friend to ask this to just yo mama. We're still waiting on my friend to come here and ask the question about statistics. Um, so impress me with your goodness, goodfulness. Um, okay, this might just be a list. Don't want that. Um, Kind of bad because it's already talking about C sharp. Oh, God damn it! Well, okay, GitHub. That's GitHub's own selection, but you know. Um, okay. Now these people are French, and all French people are bad. But let's see. Okay, and like I told you, all French people are bad. The top, forty-six. Um, I think maybe that's all of them that actually have any value. Wow, that's an interesting um, ad. Mind, whoa, 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 whoa. Java script. Now that sounds really powerful. It's not going to work, obviously, but that sounds really good. Uh, oh, that sounds really good, too. Let's see what else is sounds. Oh, there's only two of them. So let's take a look at this. 
Um, let's try. Let's go over here. All right. Um, well, that all sounds really good. Can you give us an example? Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay, so you should just be able to say... Well, let's just see what this does. Then we'll need to put a colon in front of it. If you'd like to put a colon on it. Uh, we want to... What the hell was it? Uh, port 25565. Let's do that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the correct way to do that. Yeah, that is the correct way to do that. Uh, let me try HTTP, but I don't think it's going to help. Okay, so this might not be... Mm, create Minecraft servers. Well, f fuck that. Um, no idea what the hell that is. Uh, is that where I got to from Mine.js? Oh, no, we got over here to mine JS, sorry. Um, blah, 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 blah. Most recent commit two days ago. Now, that's what I'm talking about. A voxel engine built in JavaScript. Read me. Okay. Work in progress, which always sucks. What the hell? Really? Do you need that many pictures? Okay, that is kind of cool now. Now, can I play it right here, right now? I guess the back end is going to be sort of an issue, too. Um, and I don't know if they have a free one uh, coming up, a free server to test on. Uh, I'm kind of getting sick of this. Hopefully the, uh, let me go check on my math guy. Okay. Um, getting bored. Okay. And... Um, okay, so finding a good Minecraft clone library isn't working that well. And, of course, I kind of wanted to make this game 2D because the world is flat. Yes, I just said it. The world is flat. Uh, it's locally flat, and therefore... So now let's see if we can find a... I get the feeling it's going to take longer to find a creator to do a... Ooh. Let's see what this is. That looks really nice. Um, beg, beg for money. Okay, so again, this is actually to create terrain, which is uh, not a huge deal, but... Because I'm going to create it from the real world. I have data, and I want to convert it into. Um, okay. Yeah, let's see what this does. That doesn't look interesting. Um, oh, hang on. Always, everything has to be online. It has to be free. Tile Studio. Yeah, this might not be what we're looking for here. Um, create 2D games online free. Let's see you mess that up. Ooh. I, I'm almost sure this is not going to be free, though. Or it's going to be, like, you know, not open source. But, wow. Sometimes you can learn, though, um, from these, these places. Oh. 
Uh, no code. Everyone loves, seems to love no code. It's like, you don't need to know any code. Well, you know what? You do need to know some code. Um, now, these all look like they're in the App Store, which means they are not going to run into my browser. Um, try it online. That's not really what I'm looking for. Okay, export apps for it. Not Linux, though. That's... Uh, create games. Okay, maybe we'll, we will do this. I'm sure they'll make me sign up. Oh, wow. Um... Okay, that actually seems like a very nice little no-register startup. Let's go with that. Little bit of slowness I can accept. A little too slow now, because this is on a uh, this is on a virtual machine. Um, okay. All right, now it's getting to be a little bit on the long side here. Okay, cool. Say hello here in the uh, lovely chat. Or actually, I if I thought about it, I could have said, do you want to join me on Discord? That's cool, too. Um, I do not see you here. Did I give you the wrong link? I don't know why I'm asking you that. You can't hear me. Let me let me go type this in. Um, okay. Um, okay, cool. Um, I, oh, that's right. You don't have to sign in to watch Twitch streams. Um, and it occurred to me, of course, because you, the person who is there but not there, um, can actually just join me in Discord and we could uh, talk uh, audio if we wanted to. Okay, well, let's let's, let's go. That's fine, too. Uh, okay, this is clearly not going to load ever. So, and then we're going to have to leave page. Okay. Um... Well, let's try to play one of these games until our friend shows up. He is signing in, so that should be... Uh, oh, this is an App Store game. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm really glad we're giving up on this. Um, yeah, this unfortunately looks like this is not going to be our savior. Uh, neither the 3D stuff nor the 2D stuff. Let me actually close all these tabs. Um, and this one as well. And... We'll briefly look at some lovely um, code conversions. Um, okay. Well, that was kind of fun. I'm bored of that now. Um, okay. Ah, la 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 la. Okay, we might... We'll kill some time with some dancing. Da, da, da. That's enough dancing. Um, one way we could get a list of animals is... Uh, Wiki, Wikidata is where I was going to go with this. And, of course, Wikidata um, uses Wikipedia, so it really would be getting the list from Wikipedia category animals. However, it's actually pretty good about digging deeper into, like, if you have mammals under animals, it can go into that. It can go further down. Uh, because it has a uh, an operator that lets you search for subcategory -cate or subcategory, um, and that's um, and that's what I need to look at. Um, so let's 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 poke our guy here. Um, okay, check to see if he's here. Doesn't really appear to be here. Okay. 
So let's look, take a quick look at Wikidata. I don't know if we've done this before. Um, I mean, I've done this before. Uh, that is probably... Okay. Uh, he's going to be... Oh, I keep forgetting. You can hear me. That sounded kind of bad now. I said bad things about him. Um, he's... Okay. He is here, but he can't not... Um, he cannot type because he's not logged into Twitch. So I'm not going to remember that uh, people can hear me when I'm talking. It's kind of weird because usually no one listens to me. Um, Wikidata has a, a query page. We're going to stop this the moment something interesting happens. Um, yeah, this is not... I've not done a great deal of work on this, as you can guess. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, how do you remember? So, let's see, there, there should be a star here, so there we are. P279 is the inclusion property, so this um, should list all TV shows? Uh, there should be a query page here somewhere. There we are. Query service, which is really nice. You can run this on your own machine too, but, you know, always waste other people's bandwidth. And this will give us a list of something. Uh, this might be musicians, or it might be TV shows, or it might time out, or, um, okay, here we go, 787,429 results, which won't show them all, but um, it is Pomodoro time. I'm going to skip it. Go ahead and skip that real quick. Um, okay. Wow. Whatever the hell this is, it's not very interesting. Uh, I, I don't know how to put a... There's a way to put a limit on this, too. Uh, they have a query builder that lets you do that. Uh, where do they have a... The query builder is pretty based... No, okay. Examples link something for your all this page show query explanation oh here we are query helper um filter any subclass of broadcasting program uh let's see Kingdom of multicellular, eukaryotic, not erotic, eukaryotic organisms. Okay. Oh. That's interesting. There's only... Okay, I get the feeling that there's more than like, just like a... I get the feeling there's, there's more than just one animal in the world. Um, oh, limit, 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 limit. No, I don't have a limit on it. Okay. So apparently the Alaskan Husky is the only animal that exists in the world. Clearly not true. So let's see. Type. Okay. Um... I wish I had more on this. There's a way to do it so it looks for, you know, if it's an instance of this or any of its subclasses. Um, but very little information, as you can see here, that I have. Oh, well, maybe this will help. This probably won't help. Oh! Well, that's way more helpful. Hello, Enzo. Welcome. Enzo Parbrush. Enzo Brush. Whatever. Okay, go ahead and ask me your statistics. Stati Yo mama. Ask me your statistics question, and I'll see if I can solve it, which the answer is probably I cannot. But what the hell? So we will now wait patiently for a statistics question. I will start out by answering it here in, the, in this file, but we might go to a... Uh, natural tool if we need to. This is the wrong one. 
Okay, here we go. All right, so we'll try to answer it here. Uh, random walk question. Okay, a random walk is where you start at a point and then you randomly walk, usually in one of two directions. Okay, let's go ahead and write this down. Whoa, mamma mia. Okay. 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 This looks like it could be an interesting problem. Okay. Let S and TN denote the position after N steps of a random walk on the lattice points. Okay, so this is actually two dimensional on the plane with integer coordinates, starting from 0, 0, which is pretty typical. Suppose, okay. Uh, okay, so basically you're moving plus or minus 1 in the x direction and plus or minus 1 in the y direction where the signs are picked independently, two tosses. Okay, so basically it, it, you have a fair chance of going in any of the four directions. Um, that's a good question. Um, what is the limit as n approaches infinity? Now you would think as n gets closer to infinity, you would be able to get further and further out uh, of the square because just your standard deviation is eventually going to be uh, really large. Um, oh, oh, ah, actually, hang on. In this case, they are using root n though, so they're being um, they're being a little bit tricky. Uh, by the way, in this case, they're just saying given any c greater than zero what is the probability that you will be within the square um, that is, you know, plus minus c root n in both directions. Um, so uh, basically, what's the chance that you will be inside a, um, let's see, be inside a, uh, what am I talking about? This is a good question. I don't know the answer to it right offhand. Um, So, let's do an example with c equals 2 uh, example. So, obviously, this won't be the general solution. Um, so, that what they're asking you is after n steps, a limit as n approaches infinity, that you will be in the square um, times 2 plus, let's just call that plus or minus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this is kind of interesting. Um, so if we do it with, like, let's say one step, they're asking what is the chance you'll be within plus minus 2. With one step, you can't possibly step out of that. So that's, you're still in the, um, you're always going to be in that square. But as n gets bigger and bigger, um, your possibility of where you are is, is, um, is going to be further and further away from the origin. So why don't you tell me here, mostly because I don't know, what do you, how do you think the distribution is after n steps? What do you think the distribution is of your x and y values of your random walker? And if you want, we can simplify it because we're only dealing with large n. So you can assume n is fairly large. You don't have to worry about the special case we would have. Um, if um, the special case we would have, if n is small, uh, we could use the assumption that n is fairly large here. Um, okay, it would be. Sorry, I, I, I confused you there. Let's go back. Let's forget about the square, forget about the problem for a second. I'm just asking that you now, um, if you looked at your x position after 100 moves, what, where would you expect it to lie? Where, what is the sort of range that you would expect it to lie in? And how would you, um, 
how would you characterize that probability distribution? Same question for y. That is the question here. What is the distribution of x and y after n steps? And there should be a pretty good way to come up with that. I mean, I know the answer actually, so. Um, so we're gonna, gonna wait for that. Meanwhile, I will hum show tunes. Bum 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 bum. That's actually not humming. So I'm gonna say bum bum bum. Okay. 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 Let's simplify the problem some more. Let's say you have a random walk in only one dimension, just x, no y. What would be the the distribution of of x after a hundred moves? And and again, so just one variable, moving left or right a hundred times where the guy could end up as far left as minus 100, unlikely, and as far right as plus 100, unlikely. But what would be the sort of, how would you compute the probability that he would be at a given point? Those would be, yeah, those would be the extremes that he could possibly reach. Uh, but we want to know the probability that he's at, for example, 57 after 100 points, after 100 uh, steps. Uh, so that, that is what we're looking for here. So that is the exciting, exciting question we are asking today. Random walkers, are they major jerk-offs? And where are they? They're very hard to find because they're, you know, random. Um, so we are, we are now looking at, th this is, um, this is more fun to do when it's not voice because we have these sort of long, awkward pauses that are long enough, that are short enough that you can't really do anything in them, but long enough that you feel like you need to fill the, the void with some sort of audio. Um, and I have only so much audio in me uh, because my, my audio stream has been toned down. Um, so let's talk about Dance Dance Revolution. What is it? I don't know. I think it's a game. Um, but that's pretty much all I know. I think it's played on some sort of Nintendo console, if that's a thing. Um, but that's my, that's my knowledge for Dance Dance Revolution. Um, now, what about Dance Dance Evolution? Like a game where you dance, and the better you dance, the more evolved you become. So you have to start off like dancing like amoebas. Um, who, you know, I've never really seen amoebas dance, but I assume it's for other amoeba-loving people. Fairly interesting. And then you have to work your way up to multicellular organisms. Um, and eventually you could, uh, you know, evolve in Dance Dance Evolution to the highest form of life, which, of course, is a dog. No, clearly not humans, though. Wherever the hell we are, we are not at the top of this evolutionary chain. Okay, so now I'm really running out of stuff to talk about. Enzo, you gotta help me out here, man. Uh, you gotta at least tell me that you're thinking, or you're not thinking, or you've left, or you've died of the coronavirus, or, um, I don't know, it's just something else has happened to you. Um, oh, okay, good, good, good. So what are we doing? What are we doing? I might ask you to get onto Discord so I can, we can, I can hear your thought process, because it is easier to speak out a thought process, which is what I do pretty much on all my streams. Uh, than to um, than to say out, than to uh, type out what your process is. Uh, so again, I'm gonna I'm gonna push for that. Uh, if you're good with it, let me know either here or on Discord. I'll call you. We'll get the call set up. We will be in. Okay, I do not have a microphone. Well, that's a convenient excuse, isn't it? Um. Well, 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 well. It's always something, isn't it? 
Okay, let's try to continue this then in chat. Um, so what, what are you seeing as the distribution of a guy taking uh, 100 steps or whatever? Um, in random directions, obviously he could end up anywhere between minus 100 and 100, but what are the chances, roughly speaking, that he'll end up at, let's say, 57, 12, 0, negative 13? You don't have to answer all of those individually, but give me some concept of how you would get, find, go about finding where that position would be. Good, it is a binomial distribution. Very, very good. And how can you approximate the binomial distribution when there are a large number, number of trials? Because uh, the binomial distribution can be kind of ugly when n gets big, because you're computing like factorials and stuff. Um, although with, with the computers we have nowadays, it's actually maybe not that hard at all. So we know it's a binomial distribution. The normal approximation of the binomial distribution sounds like a good idea. So what does the normal approximation to the binomial distribution tell you about where our randomly drunk guy, if he's walking in one dimension, m may end up? What is his distribution look like? Again, we know the normal distribution is infinite, unlike the binomial. But again, as n gets bigger, the the binomial approaches the normal. So we can we can assume it is normal. So. Okay, I'm asking you what normal what is the normal approximation? Um, give me the normal distribution that would give this guy's position as a probability distribution after, say, a hundred moves. Where would he be after a hundred moves? Again, we don't know exactly, but, you know, what is the probability he, he will be at a given point after a hundred moves? Or, I mean, there's other ways to characterize the normal distribution. But any, anything you can do that sort of tells me, um, you know, what sort of distribution we're looking at. I think you probably know it, so we'll just wait like a, um, a few seconds. I think this is going to have an actual, um, a very ugly answer, actually. Okay, so, okay, so it's a binomial distribution, um, and you know how to convert a binomial distribution to a normal approximation. So, could you take those steps now and tell me where it is you're not seeing the connection? This awkward silent, okay. Oh, okay, so you don't know how to model this as a binomial distribution. Okay, all right, that, that, that would explain why. Um, okay, uh, thinking. Hmm. Okay, so what do you know about random walks? Let's go back a little bit and say, what do you know about random walks? Because um, obviously this is a, this is, problem is sort of based in random walks. Um, you should at some point have learned about a little bit about how to figure out, uh, I mean, we shouldn't be looking at two-dimensional random walks until we've looked at sort of the more basic one-dimensional random walks. So tell me what you know about one-dimensional random walks. 
we can learn about one-dimensional random walks if you'd like. And then, you know, we can go back to... Okay, let's see. Oh! That is, that is the definition of random, indeed. Okay, so why don't you tell me what you know about uh, the binomial distribution outside of random walks. We, we can apply it to random walks, but first, let's see how you would... Um, how you would ca characterize a binomial distribution. So we are, we're kind of randomly walking backwards, as it were. Ah, ah, ah. Um, and by the way, just for everybody, um, yeah, we've been going for about two hours and five minutes. I think we can put it for another 20 minutes or so, uh, unless you get really interested in this problem. Um, so I will try to finish this problem for you, Enzo. Um, and if I do, I'll probably end the stream. Uh, if it takes longer than 20 minutes, and then we're not making any progress, if we're making progress, we can go beyond 20 minutes. If we're at 20 minutes and we're not making any progress, we should probably stop. But I get the feeling we will make progress because this is America and we make progress here in America. Uh, we also make shoes. Um, lots of other stuff too. So buy American. Or buy America if you want. It's going pretty cheap right now. Okay, 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 good. Yes, 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 very good. Um, so give me an example of a binomial distribution and how you would compute the probability of something happening in a binomial distribution. Um, again, this is going to be something that you really, really want to... Well, you don't have a microphone, but I am going to ignore Pomodoro this time. Um, so give me an example problem, and I really wish you could find a mic somewhere because this is going to be slower, um, especially because I believe there's a, a coin flip. Good, good. So give me, give me an example. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, yeah, give me an example problem using coin flips. In fact, if you think about it, even this problem talks about a tosses of a fair coin. So we have uh, the coin flip is very, it's a very basic random number generator in the fictitious world of math. In the real world, I think people have found out that coin flips are not fair uh, and heads come up more often than tails, which is why people have usually been calling heads more often because they had some sub luminous, not subluminous, at some liminal, at somewhere in their bizarre psyche of life, realize their the coins aren't fair. By the way, if I'm babbling incoherently, please do feel free to type. No, 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 that's not where we're going with this. Someone did a study and found that uh, people tend to flip heads way more than they tend to flip tails. Um, it's mostly because when people flip a coin, they only do like a half flip. Um, and if it starts off with Oh man, we do not get into this. Um, nope, too late. You keep asking your questions about statistics, so I'll do this. Um, uh, okay, that's not... So this is Smithsonian, pretty good, pretty good site here. Um, no, no, just you go ahead with your stuff. And I will go through all of this. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. Whatever side was up, I didn't realize it was this small of a bias, but uh, whatever side was up is a slightly more likely to come up when the coin comes back down. Um, and this is a possible reason. This is if you spin a coin. Um, okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. So how would you solve that? Three heads in five tosses. That's exactly what I was looking for.
three heads and five tosses. Very, very common kind of problem in a fair coin uh, situation there. Um, two, okay. It's an interesting formula there. Um, okay, I think that's correct, actually. Um, uh, 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 this part here that I'm highlighting is very, very close to correct, but I don't think it's quite correct. Could you, could you tell me what you get from this number? That is what I was thinking, yes. That is correct. It's basically, the num that number is called five choose three. If you're choosing the three heads, you could also say five choose two because it's exactly the same thing um, to get tails. And then you multiply by the, you know, there's one in 32 chance any given, uh, any given set of probabilities comes up. Okay, now for five coins and three heads, that's not really a great example because it's a very small number and you'd want to use the student t-test. But let's say I'm going to ask you, uh, what are the chances of getting, on 500 tosses, what are the chances of getting between 300 and 400 heads? How would you approach that problem? Again, you, you know, obviously you could use the binomial theorem, use the choose functions, add them up. That's a hell of a lot to do there. So how would you go about using the normal uh, approximation to tell me, let's go ahead and write this down, 500 fair flips, and I want 300 to 400 heads, which sounds like something Queen Victoria would say, off with their three to 400 heads and then we will stop. So let's see how this plays out here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a beautiful princess, and that was it. She just lived there. It was all cool. Once upon a time... Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I assume you mean inefficient here, and you're correct. But now, you said you knew about the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. What do you know? That's, that's the key that we're trying to get to here, is what do you know about the normal approximation to the binomial distribution, and can we use it here? And the answer to the last question is, yes, we can use it here, but we need to figure out what it is. So tell me about that. I will now go back to telling pointless stories until you will answer again, which will alleviate the boredom. Once upon a time, there was a bridge, and under the bridge lived three trolls. Then they realized that living under a bridge was stupid, so they went and bought a house. Then they realized they didn't really like each other that much, so they actually moved out of the big house and bought three smaller houses. And now you're probably thinking I'm going to do something with three little pigs who had three houses too, but no, these guys actually got three houses that were pretty similar to each other, and they were sort of close to each other because even though they didn't like each other enough to live together, they did like each other enough to hang out together, which is why they started out under the bridge in the first place. So that's the happy little story of the three trolls. I was really, really hoping you would type something before I finished it. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a prince with golden hair. I don't mean that he was blonde, I mean his hair was actually freaking made out of gold. It's really, really heavy. I mean, really, gold is really heavy. So basically, uh, as the prince started to grow hair, he developed a really major stoop. He kept looking down, his gold hair just kind of weighed him down. Um, and then his father, who would be the king because he was the prince, 
said, son, you should get a haircut. Um, okay. So you don't know that. But you said you knew, what, what, tell me everything you know about, well, tell me some things you know about the binomial, the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. Because that should be a, a first step here before we go any further. That's, that's the level we need to be at. Then we can do the uh, random walk in one direction, in one dimension, rather, sorry. Then we can do the random walk in two dimensions. So that's, we're sort of two steps behind now um, where we need to be. Um, yep, that is pretty much correct. Um, uh, actually, I think you can use it even when P is not close to 0.5, but yes. Um, usually, we, we just give a random line, N is greater than 25, it's okay to use it. I think actually if NP is bigger than 25, you can use it or something. But yes, it does apply in this case because in this, uh, we're talking about as N goes to infinity. So now tell me a little bit more now. So what else, what else, how, how do you actually do it? How do you use the, the normal approximation to the random, to the binomial distribution? I think I'll write that down because I have time. You can't use it when p is very close to 0 or 1, because it, it doesn't work. Um, you end up with silly results. But yeah, when, when n is large and p is reasonably far away from 0 or 1, you can indeed use it. And um, a little bit of a, a foretelling here, foreshadowing, I guess it is. Um, If you, oh, okay, 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 good, 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 good. Awesome. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's work through this problem. So how does that work in our problem here where we have 500 flips and we're looking for the probability of 300 to 400 heads? By the way, I think when you say standard deviation, uh, I think you mean variance. The variance and standard deviation are different concepts. Um, you're right, the standard deviation squared, which is the variance. Okay, so let's work through this example and then we can proceed to the random walk. We're flipping 500 fake fair coins, and we're looking for the probability that the fake coins... Okay. Um, okay. I think I can give you... I mean, it, it really is the same thing, because you could look for how many are bigger than 300 and smaller than 400. That would give you 300 to 400. But, you know, you're close enough here. Let's do 300 plus. 500 fair flips, more than 300 heads, because the chances of 400 to 500 heads is actually pretty low. So, so show me how we do that, and then we can get to the random walk problem. And my viewers are randomly walking away to other streams, which I fully encourage. For those of you watching the stream on YouTube, why? I'm hoping one day I get really, really famous and then people go through all my old crap to see if there's any brilliant genius in there, and there isn't. So, that would be, they'd be all like, well, crap, we wasted our time. And if I did that after I'm gone, I could posthumously screw with people. That is, like, golden. If I could waste people's time after I myself am dead, I've nailed it. 
that is my heaven. But now let's continue with flipping coins, which is kind of like heaven, but different. Uh, so, 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 ba, 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 ba. <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? Woof, woof. The one with the waggly tail. Woof, woof. How much is that doggy in the window? Okay, here we go. Um, I, th I think that is correct. Let's see. Um, I was kind of hoping you'd work it out uh, step by step, uh, but that is correct. Um, so what we have, okay, so now let us wander away from the world of coins and go back to our random walk. So... Suppose now every time our guy, w you know, we're doing flips of fair coins. Um, what is the chances uh, with 100 flips, how could he end up on the number 97? What are the ways you could do that? And 97 is just an example. I hope 97 is possible. Let's see. I'm going to change that question and ask you. Ends up on 16. Sorry. Sorry. 97 was a really bad choice. How could he end up on the number 16? What, what would the coin flips, what possible coin flips would get him to 16? And let's assume that heads is positive, tails is negative. So it doesn't really matter, but let's go with that. Um, yes. But how? there's a way to do that without even having to... There's a way to simplify this expression. If there's 16 more heads than tails, can you tell me how many heads and tails there are given that there's 100 flips total? There's really only one way that can happen. Unless I've messed up and there's zero ways that can happen. So we're, we're getting excited now. Uh, well, I'm getting excited. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is. Um, So really, it turns out there's only one way you can end up on 16. I mean, well, you know, one set of numbers where you could end up on 16. Um, if you want, I can set up the algebra problem right here. Or if you want to solve it, that's cool, too. Yep. That's the only way because you have t plus h equals 100 and t h equals t plus 16. That's the only way that could be solved. Okay. Um, so we would have to have 58 heads. Really? Wait, is that true? Out of 100. Um, for ending up on six. Sorry, I I'm, I'm, I'm actually think I might have messed this up in my own head. Um, let's see. And now you know how to compute. So if I asked you what are the chances that he would end up uh, on 16 or greater, um, I'm pretty sure that it would be 58 heads or more. So you could compute that probability uh, using, uh, you could compute that probability just knowing what the numbers were. 
So do you see how that would work now? If you wanted to figure out, I sort of give you a, a bad, because I said on 16, if I had said greater than 16, um, let's actually do that. So t plus h equals 100, we can't stop that. And we want to say h is greater than or equal to t plus 16. In other words, uh, he's at 16 or he's to the right of 16. And what this says is, um, h minus, oh, hang on. I'm trying to be too clever here. h minus t is greater than or equal to 16. Um, because we subtract t from both sides, you can do that. Then we add and we get the t's cancel. Or h greater than, yeah, okay, good. So do you see how we got there? Okay. Yes, exactly. Now, of course, that was a specific example. Uh, but now, do you see how you could compute what the odds are that the guy will be at a given number? I mean, you know, or bigger. I mean, that's, that's, the, um, that's the cumulative distribution function. And I guess if I wanted to be really correct, I should have said, because cumulative distribution goes from negative infinity upwards. Um, what are the chance of, you know, being on negative 17 and working your way from there? So you know the distribution of the coins, because you gave that to me. The question is, how do we use convert that to a distribution on the random walk? And I'm hoping, I mean, there freaking better be um, a very simple solution that, uh, actually, yeah, there will be. There's going to be a very simple solution that uh, that tells you um, how to compute that. Uh, and if it helps any, I'm not going to Pomodoro. We're getting into this. You'll notice this is 50 plus 8. And you'll notice that 8 is half of 16. So that is going to give you the answer of how you figure out where the guy is in a random walk. Uh, even just assuming you know, if, assuming you know how to, to solve the coin flipping problem. We are ignoring Mr. Bot. Um. So do you see how you would convert from the coin problem to the random walk problem. It's going to be a factor of two in there, but that's kind of expected. Unfortunately, even though this problem is fascinating, um, I've been streaming for mamma mia, close to, we're going we're gonna to cross two and a half hours and then we'll stop. No, we won't because I don't care about round numbers. Okay, so uh, go ahead and ask me. If you have more questions, ask them if this helped. Uh, okay, absolutely. I think, I think I'm think i hoping this will give you enough uh, to, to go to and figure out what we need to do. And it's basically going to be... Um, I don't want to say it. Okay. Um, yeah, and by the way, uh, one way to think about it is... Uh, for coin, for flipping 100 coins, the mu, the mean, is 50. But what if you were to just subtract 50 from the result? So in other words, you looked at the number of heads minus 50. That would have a mean of zero, and that might be helpful. All right, thank you for watching the stream, anybody who did. Or if you're watching it on YouTube, you're stupid. Thank you for watching the stream, and goodbye for now.